the video that was playing when everyone was coming in was a collaboration between Sharifa and Simone. Obviously, that was Sharifa playing Uhura from Star Trek. That um, you guys could start out by talking about making the video, talking about how that idea came about, and um, Th that video was the third Uhura video that I've made, and the first time I've worked with, I'm, I haven't used the original footage, so the other two I used the uh, original uh, Star Trek footage and just like ripped that and made different collages with it. Um, so this, I'm just getting used to my echoey voice. Um, and um, I've been trying to, Sharifa and I have been trying to collaborate on something for a while. We talked about, I think, like three different projects maybe. Um, and then it was also difficult because Sharifa wasn't really in New York, um, which actually worked out really well because I think the shooting for this particular video was really intense, I think. She had a really a major event the night before, and we we had like a really brief window um, to get everything done. And it was my intention to make um, to revisit a scene um, from a Gilbert and Sullivan opera. Um, and that's a long story, but anyway, <laughs> that's on the cutting room floor. And so, actually, this video is made of outtakes. Um, and some, actually, most of the passages are when I don't even think Sharifa knew we were filming. Um, and so I decided to use that material. And Sharifa, was that for you, are you also a Star Trek fan, or was that a new, a new thing? I'm not a Star Trek fan. Is it gone? Like, neither, okay, it's ready now. I'm not much of a Star Trek fan, and you have to remember that I went into the video thinking not only was I going to be dressed as a who, but I had to learn a Gilbert and Sullivan song <laughs> <laughs> um, from Tops, from, we won't from, say. Well, which song? It was The Sun Whose Rays Are All Ablaze. From the Mikado. From the Mikado. Mm. So I had to learn to lip sync this song. The Japanese opera. Oh. <laughs> That's what they call it, yeah. So it wasn't necessarily something that I understood, <laughs> I have yeah. to say, but it was a good experience in sort of submitting yourself to someone else's vision and, um, and really uh, occupying the space of being a figure or a model in someone else's project or a character in someone else's project. I'm really used yeah. to turning other people into characters in my own work. Um, yeah. And uh, I think it was pretty easy, actually. It was a pretty easy shoot. You were easy to work with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this just everything is just everything is just like it's just it's just it's too it's just too Um, when she's singing about, I, I'm i sick of performing, what does she say? I don't want to perform. It's like she's talking about herself as a singer, <coughs> but also as a woman, performing identity it could be read in so many different ways, but she's... Yeah, one of our most, one of the most important intentions was to um, um, really imagine all these kinds of um, behaviors and utterances coming from a black woman because I think what's so startling about it is this is like a way in which black women aren't really allowed to behave. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's one of the reasons why it's so startling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just watching it again and Someone showed me some of the source material. Yeah. I think before I'd seen oh, really? the breakdown completed. So it was like this, the archive of the, the things that you mentioned at the beginning. But watching it now, I'm thinking about 
related to what you were saying that when, that moment when she says, "I've been performing my whole life." It's like <laughs> there's a whole history of like black mm -hmm. performance that happens mm -hmm. in that moment. Mm -hmm. There's history, the hands. yeah, of the hands and just there's like so many histories of bodies in those moments that change from yeah. from second to second. And it's and it is. It was sort of the first thing I said. Also, was like when watching some of the source material breakdowns mm -hmm. of these white women, it's like, well, black women aren't allowed to do that <laughs> in public. So mm -hmm. just sort of um, rewriting, it's like a process of rewriting yeah. what's going on. Mm -hmm.